fifth and final competency of social and emotional learning focuses on relationship skills. This means the ability to establish and maintain healthy relationships with diverse individuals and groups. It's the ability to communicate in a positive, clear manner, to listen well, cooperate with others, resist inappropriate social pressure, negotiate conflict constructively, and seek and offer help when needed. In Westfield, we have a board policy that defines the student code of conduct. Our code of conduct reflects what we value as a school community. We want students to know that we all share certain rights and responsibilities and how members of a community treat one another in a caring manner. The first rule is respect. Everyone has the right to be treated with respect. We treat others the way we want to be treated ourselves. To encourage, to be kind, all positive relationships need a foundation of respect. Everyone has a right to be accepted. Establishing good relationships requires that everyone be treated fairly. It doesn't matter if someone is big or small, a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter what color someone's skin is, how they speak, whether they are wealthy or not, or what their religion is. Everyone has the right to be safe. It is at home and at school that children learn that name calling and teasing hurt people's feelings. We empower kids by giving them the tools to prevent and resolve interpersonal conflicts in a constructive way. At the elementary level, nowhere is there a better opportunity to develop these skills than at lunch and recess. These are more relaxed parts of the day, but they are crucial for our students to practice their emerging SEL skills, including forming relationships, communicating feelings, effectively managing conflict, and knowing when to ask for help. During this time, we want students to learn social skills, like how to join a game, or how to include everyone who wants to play. To help support them to be more independent, we provide structures, like the agreed-upon rules of the popular games they like to play, or using rock, paper, scissors as a common way to get past a disagreement. Many schools have also installed buddy benches. Students know to sit on these when they are looking for someone to play with. We've taught the students to keep an eye out for other students who might be sitting on the buddy bench and encourage them to play together. Our schools often use literature to discuss relationship skills. Books create an opening to talk about things like embracing our differences, being kind, resolving conflicts, and making new friends. Age-appropriate books help us boost social-emotional learning for our students. In the fall of 2018, the elementary schools created a list of commonly used books called Books We Share to Show We Care, and sent this list to all the parents of elementary age students as a way to help them know what books might be useful in having similar conversations at home. We then partnered with the town bookstore to display these books and act as a community resource. The list, which can be found on the SEL page under the Family Resources tab of the district website, is organized by grade level so the topics can be introduced when students are ready, when they are emotionally mature enough to grasp a concept. Literature and stories are a way to connect with students at all levels. We encourage parents to read at home with their children or discuss the class novel at the dinner table. Engage in conversations with children that allow them to share their values and discuss their feelings in order to develop positive relationships and even more challenging, how to maintain them. It is sometimes easier to discuss the actions of a character in a book or a movie when addressing difficult topics. The middle schools build on the work done at the elementary schools. As peer relationships become even more central to students' lives, just as they are becoming more independent, further developing their relationship skills is essential. The middle schools work to improve students' interpersonal skills and the ability to resist inappropriate social pressure. One way they do this is by running counseling sessions focused on communication and social skills. The eighth grade character education program also focuses on developing leadership skills in order to impact the school community in a positive way. Also important, they work to promote a sense of belonging, recognizing when someone might need help finding peers to sit with at lunch or sit next to in class. 
These efforts continue at the high school to help students develop skills they'll need for college and careers. One example might take the form of helping students effectively work in groups on a challenging task. This starts with building an atmosphere of trust and respect in classrooms and teaching children to debate ideas respectfully, helping them learn skills needed to negotiate who will complete certain tasks or how to lead without taking over the project, how to share responsibility. These are important opportunities to learn beyond the subject matter and develop complex relationship skills needed to be successful adults. At all of our schools, relationship skills are an important part of what students are learning. As they grow, we adapt our approaches to help them develop and sustain healthy relationships with greater independence. Yet just as we don't expect our students who are learning to read to finish a novel on their first try, nor should we expect them to know how to manage these important social and emotional learning behaviors without any kind of instruction or ongoing support. We teach them about the expectations. We try to anticipate areas they will need extra support with. We coach and advise, as well as build a community that encourages positive relationships. And that begins with us as adults, as educators, as parents, and as a community. We can increase social and emotional learning in our children by being specific about our expectations, modeling empathy, prioritizing kindness, caring, and a generosity of spirit. The New Jersey Department of Education lists the sub-competencies of relationship skills as establish and maintain healthy relationships, utilize positive communication and social skills to interact effectively with others, identify ways to resist inappropriate social pressure, and demonstrate the ability to prevent and resolve interpersonal conflicts in constructive ways. One last and essential aspect of relationship building is that sometimes children can't figure it out alone. Help them to know who, when, where, and how to seek help for themselves or others when needed. Let them know we all need someone at some point. Teaching children positive relationship skills will help them at home, at school, and throughout their lives. Thank you.